A mission is currently underway searching the waters for more bodies with the hope of finding more survivors. You and I will have to travel in a bus at least once in our lifetime. And we do that because of the faith that we have in our bus drivers and bus conductors, hoping that they will take us home safe. However, that trust, uh, that faith that the people had was betrayed last night right here on this Kotalia Bridge in Manampitia. The private bus was travelling from Khadruwila to Katankudi when it met with disaster just after 7.30pm on Sunday night. This is the footage of the passenger-laden bus passing two bus halls at around 7.30 p.m. on Sunday night. The bus had hit the safety fence of the Kotalia Bridge and had plunged into a canal. The residents of the area and the police immediately took steps to admit the victims to the hospital with the help of the Sri Lanka army. The bus started the journey from Khadruvela at around 7.30 p.m. The bus was driven at a very high speed and suddenly it plunged into a river. I escaped the bus through a window and shouted for help. Everyone came to the rescue. We heard a crashing sound. When I got here, it was crowded. We also got into the water and rescued the passengers. When all of us got into the water, we discovered at least 10 bodies and all of them were unconscious. We tried our best to save them. The victims of the accident were admitted to the Polonaro General Hospital and it was later announced that 10 people, including a woman, had lost their lives. Two undergraduates of the Eastern University were also victims of this tragic incident. My son was on a vacation. He travelled in that bus to attend his lectures. He contacts us at 8 p.m. every night and yesterday he didn't. Then we found that something like this has happened. 41 are injured, including a woman and three children. One person who was in critical condition and was being treated at the ICU of the Polonaro General Hospital died earlier today. What caused this fatal accident? The police suspect that the driver of the bus lost control and crashed at high speed. This accident had taken place because of the carelessness of the driver and he was taken under arrest. He is now in custody of the Polonaro police station. The same driver had earlier been imposed fines and punishment by the Polonaro police station for unsafe driving. State Minister Siripala Gamlath also visited the location and made the following remarks. There have been many accidents in this same location in the past as well. The reason for that is that today's roads are all well constructed but the vehicles are travelling at high speed. But some parts of these roads were not constructed the way we want. But if the drivers can be more careful, these accidents can be avoided. But the residents say that several accidents took place at this location because the bridge was not reconstructed along with the road. It is not just one bus but three buses. Lorries and tippers have plunged into the canal. No official is interested in taking actions for this. There had been three or four accidents in this place. It took many lives. But the Minister of Transport and Highway says that no roads can be reconstructed until the country's debt restructuring is carried out. There is a very narrow bridge in such a broad road. The accident took place not because of the bridge but because of the driver of the bus was careless. Nevertheless, estimations have already been made to broaden this bridge and those have been included in the active plan as well. 
The estimated cost for the reconstruction of this bridge is 300 million rupees. But until the debt restructuring is completely done, Sri Lanka is not capable of constructing any roads, no matter how many accidents take place. When Anathuru Siddhunath, they will be able to do it, but they will not be able to do it. The minister commented on the financial issues regarding the road constructions, launching a software publishing the schedules of all long-distance travel services run by the Sri Lanka Transport Board. Meanwhile, two people died and 29 were injured in another bus accident which occurred in Ambampula along the Padenia Anuradhapura Road early this morning. The accident had taken place when the bus which was travelling from Padenia to Anuradhapura collided with a container. The deceased were both residents of Talava, aged 32 and 71. The injured passengers were admitted to the Ambampula and Galgamo hospitals. 24 of the injured are women. Police say that the cause of the accident was the driver falling asleep. Sleep. Eight people sustained minor injuries in another bus accident which occurred in Hilboda along the Nuarelia Gampola main road this afternoon. The bus was transporting a group of people who were going on a trip. Police suspect that the accident was due to the driver falling asleep at the wheel. 26 people were injured when a private bus rolled down a precipice last evening in Dunuke Denia in Pundaloya, Hatton. The bus was carrying plantation workers from the Watagoda town in Talavakale to Dunuke Denia in Pundaluoya. According to the Pundaluoya police, initial investigations indicated that the cause of the accident was a technical failure in the bus.